Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Bhavnas Kannada Vlogs. Today I am coming up with a second video assignment which is related to the subject called Marketing Management. This assignment was given by uh, Professor Prasanasir. Let us introduce myself in a professional way. My name is Bhavna R. Currently I am pursuing my MBA in SVC College, Bangalore which was affiliated by VTU Belgaum. So as the title you guys can see on the screen marketing environment related to the micro and macro economy uh, in this video i am going to in, uh, tell information about micro and macro economy come let's move to the introduction part micro economy the term micro economical environment means environment that exists within the organization or the company and can influence on a daily activities or the operations it basically connects with a smaller group of people or a smaller area of the company activities. Basically, it surrounds the company. Next was macroeconomy. It refers to the set of the conditions that exist in the economy as a whole rather than a particular person or the religion. This is the introduction about micro and the macroeconomy. Now you guys are seeing on the screen factors of micro and macro economy. First I listed the factors of micro economy then I listed the factors of macro economy. So first let us discuss about the micro economy factors. In that first one was company. The various groups in the organization like HR, human resources, accountants or finance department or research and development department in or many other department in the organization in the top level will be discussed and the decision will be taken accordingly by the marketing manager and the plan will be designed in the market then marketing manager will need to be discussed the strategies in the company and come up with consumer needs and wants this is about the company next was suppliers basically suppliers plays a very important role or an important part in the organization overall customers value values or valuable delivery networks like uh, supply suppliers will provide the input materials like raw materials like parts or cutting tools or equipment or many other products or the raw materials so on the quality and the reliability should be ensured by the suppliers to the company smoothly or to the to run the business smoothly the marketing manager should have a control over the raw materials this is about the suppliers the next point was intermediaries intermediaries is nothing but a market marketing intermediaries basically marketing intermediaries is a finding of a valuable delivery networks that which helps in promoting sales and distribution of its goods to the final buyers basically it helps in promotion sales buying advertising in all the aspects the marketing intermediaries will help in the business next one was competitors how the competitors the competitors should have in every type of the business or every organization have their own competitors in that business field so competitors are rivalries who compete with the organization in the market and resources as well the organization should be a different dif bring different strategies against against the competitors and they should fulfill the needs and wants of the customers if they fulfill and they are unique in the market means the customers uh, definitely will accept the products next one about general public general public is nothing but the per the people who are going to buy the products or the final end users here the public refers to the group of people who have actually interest on the product of the company which the company was going to produce now let us move to the customers the most important actors or the action in the business or the companies are its customers because without the customers the companies cannot able to bring up any new products to the market the whole network aims to engage the target customers we will target the customers who are our uh, product buyers we're going to target them and create a strong relationship with the customer so we should have a bonding if once we booked a product in ajio means they will send us an alert messages in upcoming sales that is a good relationship between customers and the business so like that we should maintain a customer and the business relationship in a proper way this is about the factors of uh, micro economy now let's move to the factors of macro economy graphic environment this one was demographic environment it means study of an humans or a people in context of their size age or their uh, caste or their uh, occupation or what they are going to do 
all this statistics will be calculated the study of the demographic uh, environment demographic environment plays important role role because it consists of a people and the people driving forces for development and the market in the market it will always challenging for the business while doing the demographic environment because it will know it will help us to know the mindset of the consumers next one was economical environment economics is nothing but the external factors which is related to the marketing the economic environment consists of factors that can be affected by the purchasers or the powers as well as the spending patterns of the company factors is political environment the political sometimes affects the organization in such a way that related to the tax and related if any government get changes means they may do a new budget if if we are planned to the related to the old budget means we should get uh, changes uh, need to be done related to the new budget also and csr activities we should concentrate which to reduce the tax or some other activities can affect related to the political environment now let's move to the cultural environment it is also affect the organization so the organization need to understand the cultural beliefs and practices uh, in the society for marketing decision making because the people may follow a different religion and different culture in uh, india so the business should know how the people's mindset mindset while buying this product if they know means they will come up with a better results in the market next one was natural environment it is a natural resources like rain uh, flood pollution water these are all the natural uh, environment which sometimes we needed a more sometimes it may not require like water is essential for any business flood and drought sometimes uh, decreases the value of the product or may create a demand for the product so natural environment was uncertain and unpredictable we can say technological environment was next point here technological environment plays a major role in the marketing environment because nowadays technology is booming like anything in the world speed speedly it is running the world so without the technology the business may lag lag back or else they will come down in the market so the technology plays a very important role uh, while uh, making a research or while taking the decision the technology should be there in the business this is about microeconomic factors i hope you guys understand the factors of micro and macro both now let us move to the next slide in next slide you guys see the difference between micro and macro economy first let uh, let us discuss both vice versa like what is micro and the difference of micro let, let us discuss like that first point in micro says it is a study of an individual economical unit of an economy here the micro is an individual study but macro is an old economy in an aggregative old we're going to start it is a study of an economy as an old as an old and it's aggregative next point was it deals with the individual income individual prices and an individual output micro economies consist of an individual entry entries because micro is an always an individual so of course it is plays their uh, individual individually it is on uh, income price and output and it is in separate entries and individual entries in macro economy it deals with an aggregative like natural national income general pricing level and national outcomes the foundations of an macro economist is macro economy next point it is uses to determine the methods of improvement for individual business entries macro it is used to determine the economic and economist oral health standards of living and needs needs of implementation next was micro economy it centrals problems in a price determination and allocations of resources macro it centrals problems is determined of levels of income and employment next micro it means tools or demanded and supplies of a particular commodities micro it maintains tools and aggregators demand and aggregative supply of an economy as a whole next let us move to the examples of micro economy like in as i told before individual income individual savings price determination of commodities and some other examples which you can know can add to this next coming up with the macro economical examples national income national savings general pricing level this is a difference between major difference between the micro and the macro economy i hope you understood this slide also now let's move to the last slide 
Now let us move to the principles of micro and macro economics. First, I listed the principles of micro economics. First one was in that supply and demand. Basically, the supply and demand should be equal in the market, or else the supply should be more, the demand should be less, or else sometimes the demand is more, the supply is the less. Anything happens, but the supply and demand should be equal. Then the business is constant in the market. Here, how much the company demands the supply? Supply should read should reach to the pr production of the same price demand by the customers. The supply and the demand should be always equal, as I told you before. Next, opportunities cost. Uh, Indian people's majorly, basically, they are a price sensitive. So, opportunity and the cost should be should always calculated the cost of the foregoing the next best alternatives next one was utilizing the maximization industries or an individuals makes a decision to maximize their satisfactions before uh, using the products or after using the product there should be a satisfaction uh, in using the products next one was principles of micro economy can be discussed right now first one was economy and its output economical output the value of the goods and services produced in the economy during a certain period can be calculated as an economical output how we're going to produce whether it is in the positive or whether it is in the negative ranking we should calculate all that and we should produce our goods next one was economic growth the changes in the gross domestic pro product or gdp over a time is known as an it will show the economic growth of our company through gdp we can know or through balance sheet or some other financial statement we can know about the economic growth of the company next coming up with an unemployment the number of people who are not employed is called as an unemployment the company should always give jobs to the people who are in the needed if not uh, the people who are sitting without a job is called as unemployment Next one, next point was inflation and de deflation. Inflation is an increasing in the price of its items, and deflation is decreasing in the price of pricing level. Inflation means always the product demand is more means we can increase the price uh, price of the product. If the less means we sometimes we have to sell it for the low cost also. Next point was uh, it was investment. The interest rate set by the central banks of the company as a large inflation of the customer spendings. Uh, investment, uh, uh, investment related uh, at uh, investment. If we are seeing at the end of the bias means Indian, as I told you before, Indian people are price sensitive. We will see the price and the quality, quantity, or everything should be seen by the end users or the buyers. Then they will calculate whether we should buy this product or not. So investment. While, ma while making the investment into the business, the people should understand the market scenario and then they should invest in the business. So, till now you guys uh, understood about the principles of micro and macro economy. Now, if you have any questions or if you have any doubts, means you guys can uh, comment me in the comment section. And now I will tell something in Canada. The Canada viewers will also understand basically my videos was watched by more by the Canada audience. So, I will speak a few lines in Canada in this video. ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ರಿಲೇಟ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ಅಫಿಲಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾಲೇಜಸ್ಸಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಥರ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಲೈಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ನನ್ನ ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಂತೂ ಅಬೌ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಲೈಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ನೋಡೋರೆಲ್ಲ ಲೈಕ್ ಕೊಡಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಸಾಕು ನಮಗೆ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಒಂದು ಅರ್ವತ್ತು ಜನ ನೋಡ್ತಿರಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ನಮ್ಮ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ಗೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಲೈಕ್ ಕೊಡಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅವರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ತ್ರೀ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಪರ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಗೆ ತರ್ಟಿ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತವೆ ತರ್ಟಿ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕರುಣೆ ನೋಡಿಸಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಕೊಡಿ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಬೇಕಂತಂದು ಕೂಡ ಕನ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಇನ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಒಂದು ಕನ್ನಡ ಒಂದು ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹಾಕೋಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಈ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಓಕೆ ನಾ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೂ ಲೈಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಲೈಕ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಮೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರಿ ಆ ರೀಚ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೂ ಲೈಕ್ ಶೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೂ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆನಾ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್
uh, as I tell always, uh, do like, share, and subscribe with your friends, family, and well wishers. And first time watchers, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and uh, share the videos with your friends. This is all about my second video assignment. See you in the next video assignment and next another type of videos. For watching any questions means you have you can uh, comment me in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next vlog. Ali Tangal Kushi. Bye bye.